Mazada. Okay. Number 10 on the roster, but number 19 in your hearts, Nicholas Mazada. Class of 22, Kennedy Catholic High School. There goes the rudder, and there'll be no throw. Camacho got himself a great jump and steals third base. It goes in standing. So Camacho now at third, and here's the pitch. Ball outside, it's one and one to Mazada. Youngman stretches and the one-one pitch. Right on the inside corner, nice spot by Youngman. Now at ahead of the count at one and two to Mazada. And a one-two pitch. Fouled straight back and out of play. Count remains at one and two. With Kabacha with third base. And one out. Youngman takes a sign. Stretches and a pitch. Line drive to left field, falls for a base hit. That'll score Camacho. And Taconic takes a early 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the first. Which will now bring up number 28. <laughs> that brings up Nicholas Mazzotti. Mazzotta, I should say. The uh, Takana coach is always trying to 
get a little bit of airtime in their own right because they just keep finding the front of the camera. We oh, have yeah? all, we have all okay. the cameras set up at field level, so that, that can be a little bit of a challenge, well, especially when a, you – They want to be prime time. Well, Ball flare to the right side, first baseman underneath it. That's number 45, Temperino. He could not make the grab in foul territory. So Lozano will get himself an opportunity to reload in the batter's box against Mabret Levant. Lozano steps in with a 1-1 count and two out here in the bottom of the third. And here goes Camacho. Not surprisingly, nice shoot again by Leco. So they're keeping Leco busy behind that dish. Yeah, it was a great Lico shoot. A tall kid. Yeah, listen, uh, Camacho with a big jump. You know that he's probably the fastest guy on the field right now. And the reality is that Leco wasted no time. Good transition, stayed low, didn't come up all the way out of his crouch. And that throw was right there on the money. Had a good chance to get him. Foul out of play. Cat stays at two and two to Nicholas Mazada. You know, and from a catcher's standpoint, that's one of the that's one of the big pieces that I always love to see. Right? It's like how alert are they going to be regardless of who's on the base pass? How is it gonna call the pitches? And I thought LeCove really did a nice job anticipating that play and uh put himself in a good spot to try to keep the runner at bay. Just uh, you know, bang bang play. Camacho got his leg in there, but Again, um, Leco, thinker from behind the plate from a catching standpoint, and, and that's important. I don't think we're near any bay, so we could be. We could be near a river, a lake in this area, a lake. Perhaps but I don't think we're near any bay, so we couldn't keep him at bay. He'd have to keep him at lake, that river, I, 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 at I home. I, yeah, <laughs> sure, all of those things. <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to lease you out. So my part was a little bit. Fired up this morning. Uh, I get twisted, man. Uh, I, I twisted the, T. Uh, uh, you might want one of them right now. You know what they say. I like it live. Oh, Fly there's... ball to left field. Taking the left fielder deep. Still chasing after it. That'll fall for a base hit. That ball is carrying today. So Camacho will score. And Mazzotta finds in center at second base with a stand-up double. And that will end this half inning. That's five batters. We'll be back in Monroe, Pennsylvania. Uh, the Dunmore.